two months back, I made my first YouTube video, which was about the urban legend of La Pascualita in Mexico. When making the video, I left out some important information and I figured it would be better to redo the video. Since my last video on her was edited using a not so good video editor and the vocals were recorded on my iPhone. I won't remove the video since it's my first video I've ever made and I'm proud of it. With that being said, there are many legends across the world, some more creepier than others. There is one such legend that resonates from Mexico that I will be discussing today. La Pascualita is a mannequin that has been terrifying people for many years. The bridal mannequin sits at a store window in Chihuahua, Mexico and has a very frightening backstory. The bridal mannequin was placed in the store in March 1930. Locals started to notice that the bridal mannequin bore a striking resemblance to Pascualita Esperza, the store owner at the time. This led many people to believe that the mannequin is actually the preserved corpse of the owner's daughter, who died tragically on her wedding day by getting bitten by a black widowed spider. It wasn't long after her death that the mannequin was placed on the shop window, giving birth to the legend. Pascualita Esperza denied the allegations, but many people stuck to the theory. Another local rumor about La Pascualita is that she started off as a regular mannequin and a French magician that was visiting fell in love with her. He was so in love that he would visit the mannequin every single night and use his magic to bring her to life, dancing with her and bringing her around town and then returning her to the store before morning. What's striking about the mannequin is how realistic it looks. The hands and legs on the mannequin are extremely detailed. Even skeptics have a hard time understanding how the detailing on the hands and legs are so precise. One worker who had to change the mannequin's outfit twice a week told crew members of Ripley's, Every time I go near Pascualita, my hands break out in sweat. Her hands are very realistic and she even has varicose veins on her legs. I believe she's a real person. Over the years, people claim that Pascualita's eyes followed them around the store and claims that she changes positions at night. This is the only evidence that I can find of her eyes moving. As you can see, there were tourists filming and her eyes moved towards the end of the video. The person filming seems to have noticed and cut the camera off. If you try to go to the bridal shop now, there is a plaque sitting on the window of the store. The title of the plaque reads, The Most Beautiful Bride in Chihuahua. The plaque then describes the backstory of the mannequin and the store from 85 years ago. Going into the two most popular theories that I discussed earlier, and also telling the many cases that people have seen her hands moving and some even seem her roaming around the store searching for a new dress. What's very strange is La Pascualita isn't at the bridal shop anymore. If you google the bridal shop, you will find many bad reviews due to people being disappointed that La Pascualita is no longer in the shop. Instead, there is another mannequin that is modeled after her, but with this new version you can tell it's an actual mannequin such as one you would see in a clothing store. It has no realistic features in the slightest. As far as I've researched, nobody knows what happened to the original mannequin. Some believe that she came to life and left the shop, while others believe that the owner just removed her due to the controversy behind her backstory. Whatever the case, many people want her back at the store because of how interesting it was. In my honest opinion, I don't believe that the mannequin is a preserved corpse. There has been many arguments online debunking that theory and one of the most obvious reasons is that it would literally be impossible to keep a preserved corpse in such good condition for many years. The body would have eventually broken down in time and deteriorate. To me, the idea of the mannequin being the previous owner's daughter is just a myth and it's a huge coincidence that the mannequin and the owner look almost identical. 
I believe that the mannequin was just created to look like a real person, but I also believe that the mannequin is cursed in some way since there are plenty of cases where people claim that the mannequin changes positions on its own and its eyes follow them around. The video has also never been debunked to have been tampered with to make it seem like the mannequin's eyes moved, so the possibility of the video being a genuine sighting of the mannequin moving is up to the viewer. This is only one of many urban legends to come out of Mexico, but in its own right, very creepy. Thank you guys for watching, and if you would like to see more content like this in the future, please leave a like and subscribe and let me know what you think or if there's an urban legend you would like for me to cover in the comments below.